So the motor is out and the trans and the cross member and the subframe and and right now we're gonna be lifting the motor up to get it off the subframe. So we're gonna chain it up. Uh, we noticed some little stuff. Already talked to the customer. One of the calipers in the back, the uh, parking brake C. So we're gonna want to fix that. Of course, since we're going to a manual swap now, he's gonna use that a lot more. Other thing we noticed too. These uh, these bolts are just missing. So I don't know how long they were missing for. That's actually wore down metal, so it had some some play. But we noticed those bolts were missing, so we got it all out. Now we can start putting. We're gonna get there waiting on the mounts right now. So once the mounts come here, we can get some stuff mocked up, start doing fabrication. Got a little table over here, and as you can see, it is all out. It is. We had to get the diffuser out, so we had to take the whole bumper off. The whole back bumper had to come off with the with the diffuser. So we got that. A lot of a lot of engine space. We will clean up the floor, obviously. Made a little bit of a mess. We got the uh, if you're not familiar with the blue painters tape, so. We got this on here just temporary so we didn't scratch the fenders as we're working on it. Um, we don't like the car covers. Let's see, it says KNSX. We don't like the car covers because they're magnetic. So if you get any kind of metal um, stuck on the magnet, you're going to scratch the paint. So this works good. If we're going to, uh, we're going to be, this is going to be a couple, couple months project type deal. So we're going to take the tape back off until we have to get back into it. We'll retape it up, but yeah, blue painter's tape works pretty good. Besides that, I'm gonna let them continue to get that motor out of the cradle or the subframe, whatever you wanna call it. And we will continue these little videos. So we got the motor separated from the cradle. Uh, actually, uh, a little bit late because apparently somebody took the forklift key home. That was me. So my guys could not uh, get the engine out of the cradle, but the engine is out, and nonetheless, I don't know, you can see the floor is wet. We uh, degreased, de degreased the whole cradle, we cleaned it off. Uh, my guys cleaned it off, I should say, not, not I. Um, so it's a lot cleaner. It's gonna make it a lot easier to work with too as we're doing the fabrication stuff. Uh, we only got a small little pile here of all the other NSX stuff that will not probably fit back on. Maybe we can incorporate it somehow in the new motor. I don't know. So we got the big motor sitting over there that is for sale. If anyone is looking for a motor for an NSX. So there is the motor and the trans. It's on a dolly. This thing is big. That's all I can say. The whole thing is big. Uh, it appears smaller, of course, on camera. I don't know if the jack stands really help it, but so if anyone's looking for a trans automatic, we did a leak down test on it prior to pulling it out. It is healthy. Transmission shifts good. We're gonna get this cradle back up and we're gonna make this thing a roller. We're gonna roll it on next door. And we are just awaiting on parts. As parts start coming in, we'll do some unboxing videos. If anyone wants a specific write up on how to do something, I don't, probably think there's a lot of NSX guys that are looking for write-ups because the swap's not done a lot. Uh, we'll do it. We're doing the Haltech dash. We're waiting on the Haltech ECU. We'll get into that too as we did with the AEM dash. That's about it. Not too much until we start installing some parts and doing fab work. Which hopefully is soon, depending on when we get some uh, some parts in. And of course, I've said it before, the tape and the uh, the towel on the door is actually so when we have to open the door, we don't hit it against the lift. The tape is so we don't scratch it. This tape will probably be coming off here shortly. We'll retape it up after we get hot parts and start working on it again. So there'll be a little downtime. Where video number three is up. Nonetheless, progress is being made. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. So just, so just a quick little update here. As uh, NSX is sleeping, 
for the time being. We're getting more and more parts kind of trickling in. We got the mount kit in here. All nicely wrapped up and whatnot. So the mount kit, of course, is gonna allow us to put the engine and trans in. Um, we have some, some, some turbo goodie parts here, precision stuff. Um, went with a 5858. For the power that he's shooting for, uh, and it's ball bearing, there's, there's no reason to go any bigger. Um, we're gonna not only be able to make the power and then some, um, we're focusing on the power band. You know, as I always tell people, you can go with a super big turbo, but you know, if the thing's spooling up and it's hitting full, you know, boost at, let's say 5,500 RPMs, what fun is that? We want this thing to be fun. It's a street car. We want them to enjoy it on the street. So the other stuff that's trickling in too is more turbo goodies, uh, tile wastegate, uh, tile blow off valve. And ultimately we are close to being able to get the motor and trans in and start doing some turbo mock-up work. Uh, once we do that, I'll cover that and I'll try to keep the videos rolling. But uh, right now, that's what we're basically waiting for. Um, if anyone's got questions, we keep a lot of these products in stock or we try to. They are hot sellers, especially these. Uh, we can get you any turbo. We do a Precision, Borg Warner. We have our own brand as well. Um, just shoot us a message. And uh, hopefully as these parts keep on coming here, I can get these videos updated and get them out sooner. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all this stuff. Take care.